Hey guys, Rorovirus here, and so now I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to use PokeSave, a pretty convenient and handy editor um, if you are playing from the emulator or maybe an R4 or whatever. Um, so what you have to really do is, if you're playing on the emulator, what you need to do, like I use Decime, but not to um, record my stuff, but what you need to do is, like, um, whenever you need to save your game directly and, and then make sure you do a save state. Then you need to go to export backup memory and then just type the name of your save in, click on save, and then once that is done, then just open up here the Poke Save application. Or um yeah, so Poke Save for Heart Gold Soul Silver. And so we are gonna be opening that file that we that we just saved or that I saved before. So I saved it as 30, so I'm gonna open it up as that. And as you can see, there is my party Pokemon. And then, um, like, let's say, and this is for, like, okay, let's say, you know, you go to items. Let's say you want a, let's say you want three Dawn Stones. I know I already have one, but let's make it three more. So just enter, or, no, three more. So enter four, modify, and you will have four Dawn Stones. Same, and then... The, but hit OK though, um, and then same for the Pokeballs, if you want like perhaps a dive ball, then just enter four, do four dive balls, click modify, and then OK, and you will have four after you save it, after you save the changes. You can also change your uh, name and your amount of money here, your ID if you want to, and the secret ID, and even your multiplayer avatar. Um, for the multiplayer battles if you want to. And, um, and then let's go to a, a Pokemon editor. You can also change your gender of your Pokemon, I mean, or, or of you, if, if, whether you still want to be the male or the female character in the game. So anyways, let's go to the Pokemon editor. So Pidgeot, I'm going to be using my Pidgeot. So let's say you want that, that Celebi event that you want in the game. What you're going to have to do is, although that should be English, but what you're going to have to do is, so let's say you want a Celebi event. Well, you're going to have to click Celebi, and then click the Faithful Encounter flag, and then click OK, although after you've done whatever else, you know, original name, Celebi, and then input OT or another one. Um, you can also change the gender if you want it to be a male or, well, um, Celebi can't be either one. Uh, but for any other Pokemon that can, you can change whether or not you want it to be a male or female, or shiny if you want to, uh, and change its nature, and then just generate an OK. And then um, for its EVs, um, in the, if, if it's at all 255, if, if one of those boxes is at 255, that means for that particular stat, it's going to be at max at level 100, and at each level, so like Mewtwo has a max HP of 416 at level 100, and if it's, if its HP is at 255, then that means that it will be at 416 at level 100, and max even before that, it'll be, you know, whatever it is at that level. Um, for the Pichu event, and this is, that's the same with Arceus for Celebi, just Faithful Encounter, okay, and then save. What you have to do for the Pichu, though, a little bit different, you have to click the Faithful Encounter flag, generate and then click on shiny because it has to be the shiny one as well so faithful encounter flag shiny okay, uh, generate and okay um, and you can also change this level and experience now also keep this in mind too guys is that your Pokemon will not be registered in your poke so like you could go and catch three Zubats and then put all three of them in your party edit them to whatever Pokemon you want but they will not be registered in your Pokedex unless you do this you need to click is egg box and then just remove your steps left to make this faster and put zero by 256 which means you will only have to walk 256 steps in order to hatch the egg then when the egg hatches it'll be at level one and you know then it will be registered in your pokedex um and you can give it whatever moves you want to if you want um and then uh you know like i said just change the level if you want to and um if you want to be the like I said the original male or female, um, then just change it. You can put whatever held item you want to on it, whatever ability you want, um, ball caught with, whatever. 
and you can the poke rust is still in in play in the game so you can make it to where they're infected or they're cured of it um whether or not you completed all the contests although i think that's irrelevant to heart gold and soul silver considering i don't i do believe there is no contest on there um and so yeah so whatever pokemon you want pretty much in the thing you can also do it click on edit on on storage and then like let's say i have none right here but you can't edit its stats until after you get it um until uh, unless it's in your party and in whatever box and then um and so yeah and then once you are done with that you need to click save as and then double click on your save file that you opened up and click on yes but I'm gonna click on no because I'm not making any saves to mine so just click double so just double click that and then click on yes on your save and then import it into your emulator um, using the import battery on your emulator if you're using an emulator or if you're using an R4 um, import it that way and reset and it will and it should go through um, export ARDS code I haven't really tried that out but uh, it's really much the same thing a little bit just a little bit less different options um, these two I don't know exactly what these are for but uh, I think it's irrelevant um, if you guys want to know how you can download this I've already got the thing up it's projectpokemon.org you can go you can go there directly you can see the project Pokemon first anniversary and even some of the versions of part gold and soul silver Dutch got delayed and another version got delayed because they had some bugs they had some bug problems in 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 the game that they had to fix which all which really delayed their release and then the Zork pre-release ticket event Pokemon event in Japan for the fifth gen yeah, you see, level 50, Raikou knows Zap Cannon, Entei gets Flare Blitz, and Suicune gets Sheer Cold from this event. As you can um, just see, and then all you have to do is just go to Poke Save on the homepage. And then if you want to read these questions about, you know, what it's for and everything... You know, just you know, take your time. Read this. Read the read the FAQs. You know, read the different guide informations about the EV and IV guide. You know, and then the generator locate. It's it, it's really a useful help and helpful site. So if you want to download PokeSave, come here. And if you want to, uh, you know, read all this information, and then just go to download PokeSave, and then do it for each version right here. With Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, and Heart Gold Soul Silver. So that's yep, yeah, pretty much it. And remember, guys, for or for some of you that don't know my YouTube channel, uh, which you should already know, it is Aurora Virus. As you have as you see, I am number eight most subscribed all time. Well, in Japan, even though I'm not in Japan, but yeah. So, well, that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. So yep, so there it is. Poke save if you want. If you guys want to go and get it. Uh, it, sh it, it will it should work for R4 and whatever else you used to save with uh, or how you if you can get your save imported so that's some um, my tutorial guide for the poke save application and I may um, I may post up more tutorial videos about different programs now you can use them so um later guys till next time